I was just going back to the station one night and a car turned in front of me and we collided and I suffered a lot of injuries and of course the worst one was I broke my back and I ended up in a wheelchair. I spent six months in hospital and uh, it was certainly life changing. People look from the outside at our life and don't really see what it's like. John kind of tries to make it look easy because he's always happy and positive but, but it can be tricky and it can be, there can be a lot of limitations and there are. So I couldn't bear the thought of us just being stuck in suburbia. When I first looked at the idea of a camper, uh, it was because taking holidays and travelling was becoming more and more difficult. So when we did look at the other campers, Cub was the one um, that seemed to be most workable. It's um, straightforward, it's easy. I'm not a big person. Um, and I'll be doing the bulk of it. So I thought um, certainly that it was achievable. It's a simple setup, it's going to be a simple lifestyle. We really can't do a lot, but John can read books and I do art. Um, so I, I just think it, it, it allows us to in, enjoy life properly. As you know, motorised wheelchairs are fairly heavy. So what we've done is actually strengthened the roof of the camper in order to take the extra weight. Our special vehicles team has made a special bracket that allows the ramp to affix to the side of the camper securely and safely. We've actually lengthened the bed and ordered a special mattress custom made for it. This doubles as a storage area for the ramp. Now the way that we've done this means that John and Joe haven't lost the storage under the main bed. One of the other modifications that the team here has done is to add a special door in the front wall of the camper. Now this is going to allow John to enter and exit the camper to an amenities area like a pop-up shower tent. And it's a very cost effective goal too in terms of being able to get out on holiday and get relief from everyday life. Well we just want to see where it takes us, so see some New, South, some New South Wales and who knows. We're hoping too that other people along the way will see that that it is achievable. It will change our lives. It's going to give us a freedom that we don't have. 